Okay, everyone, so today I'm going to teach you guys how to composite two images like I've done here. For instance, I took a photograph of myself, a photograph of a cheetah, and then I merged the two. Okay, so that's what we're going to try to accomplish. The first thing we need to do is grab two images. So let's go ahead and switch over to the internet, and we're going to go to Google Images. And this time I'm going to search for gorilla. And then I'm going to go to images. And we only want to work with high res images, so we need to click large. Okay? And the browser's not working properly, so I'm going to control click on it, and then go to in open link and new tab. And these are my large images. Okay? And if I click on any one of these, you'll see that they're more than a thousand pixels wide or a thousand pixels tall which is what we want, okay? So let me see which of these I would like to play around with. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for this guy right here. Oh, it looks like it might be getting blocked. So let's go for a full-size image. And I think maybe this one's not working. Oh, no, it's working, okay. Okay, so while that loads, I will, once it's fully loaded, I will drag that into Photoshop, which you can find in your Applications, Photoshop folder, and then you just click on Photoshop here, okay? But I've already got it open, so I don't need to. All right, got my big, beautiful, high-res image. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture of myself in Photo Booth. So I'll try to get that exact same angle Right. Okay, so let's see. Let's make him dark and brooding. And let's make it to where you can see his eyes. So let's take the picture. All right, there we go. So now I can just drag that into Photoshop, like so. And we're also going to grab the one from the internet as soon as it's done loading. Almost got it. Is that it? Okay. Drag this guy into Photoshop. Very good. And in Photoshop, I want to see the whole screen, right? I don't want to be bothered with the background and stuff. So I'm going to go to View, Screen Mode, Full Screen Mode with Menu Bar. Cool. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I want to use the select tool. Okay. Now in this view I can't see the other windows like I could if I was in standard mode. Because in standard mode you can see whatever images you have open. Okay. Basically I just want this face. So I'm going to use this is the lasso tool. You can also use the polygon lasso tool if you just want to click, click, click. But this is for dragging. So I'm going to click and drag with the lasso tool. Then I'm going to go to edit, copy, back over here and edit paste okay go to the move tool and I'm going to put myself here somewhere around here okay so now I'm going to go back to fuel full screen and I've got my layer here so this is Sean and this is my background and I don't like to mess with the background I want that background as a backup so I'm going to drag that into the new layer, the new icon layer, and I'm going to duplicate it, okay? And this is going to be Gorilla. Next thing I need to do, this is very helpful. These are make your layers visible or invisible, okay? Visible, invisible. Visible, invisible, okay? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a mask. Basically, I want this part to be showing or not showing, right? So I'm going to grab that and I'm going to go to select inverse, okay? So what it was is it was selecting this part, now it's selecting everything else because I hit inverse. And I'm going to click on this tool, this button right here, very, very important. This is called the mask tool. You see that? And now I can put my face underneath there and if I make it visible, it should show up. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that. 
I'm going to hold the Alt key and click and drag, or I could control click on that layer and oh, there's no duplicate. Okay, I'm just going to hold down the Alt key and I'm going to click and drag it. Okay, and for this one, I'm just going to get closer to my face. And I'm going to mask it off. So I can use which one, whichever one I want, and I'm not sure which one I want yet, but I'm thinking somewhere in between these two is where I want to find the sweet spot. Okay. Now this is my masks. I have a black mask and a white mask. See that? And what that is is that's basically like taking a sheet of paper and then cutting a hole in it. Okay. So only what's under, what's in this hole is what's going to show. Everything outside is going to be covered up or invisible. Okay. So the white part is what shows, the black part is what doesn't show. And in this one, you can see what the white part shows up, and this little black part, this little black dot here, is the part that disappeared. Okay, and I can expand or contract that by going to the brush tool, and then I can use white and black. Okay, I can try to choose red, but it's just gonna come out gray because a mask can only be black or white. Now the layer is different. I can paint yellow or red on the layer if I want. I don't, I don't want to paint the layers, I want to paint the mask. Okay, so make sure you select this little box. Not this box, this box. Not this box, but this box. Okay. And I want to grab I want black and then I'm going to paint I'm going to paint that black. I'm going to paint so that I can get rid of some parts of it. Okay, and if I do too much, all I gotta do is switch those two, and I can bring it back. Okay, so far so good. Very nice, okay. Now, if it's too big or too small, what you can do is you can go to Edit, Free Transform. Let me select my layer first. Okay, so select this box and go to Edit, Free Transform. And now I can resize it any way I want. Okay. I'm going to undo that because what I want is I want to keep the proportions. So I'm going to hold down the Shift key and then when I click and drag, it'll keep its proportions. Okay. So I think I want my mouth to be even with his mouth, but I want my eyebrows to be even with his eyebrows. See that? Much better. And just to get, to get out of transform mode, I need to press the enter key, so I press enter. Okay? And then I can press the letter V, or I can come up here and go to the move tool, same thing. I can move it around a little bit. Okay? I'm just going to Play with this a little bit. Do I want hair or do I not want hair? Probably I don't want hair. He's got enough hair for the both of us. Okay. Uh, let's see what happens if I bring his brow back. And of course I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch back. Bring it back a little bit. Switch it back again. Get it just right. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling this one more. Okay. And then what I can do is I can turn down the opacity, make it transparent, click on my mask. Basically, this is kind of like painting with the same thing as painting with gray. I'm going to turn down to 50%. So this time, it doesn't 100% get rid of. Right, it's kind of like a, it's just fading it away. Now I can switch, bring it back a little bit. So that way it kind of fades from my face to his face. So we kind of blend it a little bit. Now what I'm gonna do, this is a very helpful tool, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on my 
face, this layer right here. Hit OK. And I'm going to apply an adjustment. Okay, so this is my adjustment layer right here. I click on that. I can choose if I want hue saturation or I can do color. Some David, I can do color balance. What I'm going to do is hue saturation. And then I'm going to hold down the Alt key and I'm going to click in between these two layers. And the purpose of this is if I if I start changing this to stuff right now, if I start changing my my adjustment layer, it's going to apply to the whole image. Well, I don't want that. I just want to do it to my face. So I'm going to click in between my face and the adjustment layer. And now the adjustment layer only applies to my face. So you hold down the Alt key and click in the middle until you see this hook here. Okay? Don't click the link. If you if the links disappear, bring them back. Okay? And now I can change only my face. All right? So if you want to go for a Hulk look, you can turn them green. If you just want to, what well, all I want to do is turn down the saturation so that my face becomes more like black and white like his is. Okay, you see that? I can turn up the lightness. Okay, so that's one. Now I'm going to do another adjustment layer. This time I'm going to do levels. But again, I want to alt click so that it only applies to my face. Here's my levels. Basically, you're just going to click and drag these little arrows at the bottom. Okay? This cranks up my blacks, and this cranks up my whites. Typically, what you want to do is you want to get it down, go to where the curve starts and where the curve ends. And I can do the middle one, too. And I'm going to go back to my saturation. And I'm going to turn down that saturation even more. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to my mask. And I'm going to make a little bit more of it disappear here. Okay, and let's see. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to put another layer on top of this, a new layer button. See that new layer button right here? And this is going to be dark brow. So I'm just going to take some black, and I'm literally just going to paint black on top of my brow. Hmm, I don't know if that's really working or not. Okay, and I can erase some of that. Okay, and I can turn the opacity down on this if I don't like it. It's too thick. I don't know if that's really working or not. Maybe I just need to make it a little... Just add some more to it. Let's go to the black. I'm oh, sorry, brush tool. Let's paint a little bit more black there. And I can turn on the visibility, see if it's really helping or not. I don't know if I like that or not. I think... Let's try this. Let's turn it off and let's see if I can make that part more trans... If I can just delete this part of my face and see if that makes it look better instead. So I'm going to select the mask and I'm going to paint some black to make it disappear. And then I'm going to paint his back white so that his comes back. Okay. So for instance, I'm trying to bring his brow back. Then let's turn me back on. So his eyes are actually much closer together than mine are. So I'm thinking the way I'd really make this work is I'd make my eyes smaller but keep my mouth big. But that's okay. I'm just going to leave it like this for now. That's good enough. Okay, so we'll, now we need to save.
Okay, this is very critical. You must always save your work. Okay, so let's walk through how to save. File, save, and then I'm going to name this Sean the Gorilla. And I don't want this in temporary items. I'll never find it if I put it there. Go to my name, and then documents, and I can save it here. Okay, uh, for me, I like to put my stuff in Dropbox. And I have a folder called composite that I'm going to put this in. All right. Okay, always save your work. This is the last thing I want to say. Always save your work. Okay, it's very easy. Just hit Command S, and then you should get a little timer thing that's showing you that you, you saved. Okay, if someone comes to talk to you, you don't, you don't talk to them until you hit Command S. Then you say, hey, what would you like to talk about? Right? If the teacher calls you away from the desk or away from the computer, you hit Command S and then you leave the desk. Right? You need to go to the bathroom. Command S, then you get up and walk away. Don't ever forget to save your work. Okay? This will avoid you coming up to me later on and saying you lost everything that you did already. Okay? So always save your work and enjoy Photoshopping. Thank you and that's it for this video.